there's water flying every direction here. Uh, I'm waiting here to see if I get a good wave, and if I get a good wave, this might be one. This is one, so release that. And I think I made a mess of that one. Let's have a look and see. That's not too bad. The sea spray here today is absolutely relentless. Uh, another shot on the go here. Uh, wait a second. The fire is off now again. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Boom, there we go. That's a bit too much. There we go. Second one. So, looks good enough. Happy with that. Yeah, the first one was, first one was too much as I thought. I wasn't expecting the second bit to come back around. There's actually a big wave coming here now, I think. Is that going to come up? That is coming up. Here we go. I'm going to wait for that now again. That's going to point a bit. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold. Boom. There we go. Should be. That looks cool. So this is where I am. I don't know if you can hear me. As I say, I forgot my mic. I was rushing out the door. I wasn't supposed to be doing I wasn't supposed to be doing a vlog today. I was actually running a workshop to finish the small bit earlier. So um, I am um, just here now at the moment taking photographs. I think I have at least one or two nice photographs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through the setup because there's another way of coming here. And I'm gonna talk you through the setup back in the studio. So I shot this with a Format High Tech Firecrest Magnetic 100mm filter holder and also a six stop Firecrest Ultra ND filter. Now you can see the point of all this is that I'm trying to capture movement. So across these three different photographs, there's completely different motion in the sea. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to capture that dance between the sea and the rocks and show the contrast between moving elements and static ones. I think I have, as I'm running, <laughs> that's where I was. I think I have a nice shot there. So I'm going to have a look for another composition. Just look at something here now. I don't know how good that's going to look. We're going to try it anyway. Oh, that's interesting. Wait a second. I just spotted something here. That's really cool. One second. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I'm actually kneeling here now at the moment. And there's water going through underneath me. So not a recipe for success. I just noticed this running back out along there. So the waves come up here sometimes and run through and go in here. And sometimes they come in through and come out this way. So, really interesting. What I should actually do is shoot this off. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. That was really close. I was expecting that though. I was watching the waves come in. And it's one of the reasons why I say you never turn your back on the sea. Because the sea can be an absolutely cruel mistress. I'm going to shoot this as a vertical shot and portrait shot shooting straight up along here and going back out along there so i'm going to shoot that canal there as such with a nice bit of movement running through on the rocks in the background so again not so sure if you can hear me or not i uh, just went absolutely mental here photograph i was looking for as i was saying was that s bend down along there I'm trying to get the background too as well. So what I want to do here is I wanted to capture that movement of the water in that channel there that I'm showing you. But the only way of doing that is to position my tripod here, which was too close in the sea spray constantly hitting both me and the camera. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the shot I wanted. You can see how wild it gets here in the second shot. So what I ended up doing is I ended up pulling back a bit further, moving a bit further up along, which you see in this shot here. So and I shot it as a landscape shot then just just it was a small bit safer and it was easier to shoot it i'm thinking about changing and going and popping in a 10 stop nd filter uh, so i'm up on top of these rocks i'm gonna go back here a small bit i'm up on top of these rocks here now at the moment and what i'm hoping to get is that shot going back out along there i'm gonna set my camera up here so something like that uh, what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for all this to be pin sharp, that to be blurred out completely, and the headland in the background. There's going to be no nice light, so I'm going to rely here on a long exposure. I might pop in a 10 stop ND filter and see how I get on. I have to change the ND filter. Did you see that? Watch this bird. Watch him. He just misses the rocks, and then the wave nearly hits him. 
absolute lunatic. <laughs> I have to change the indie filter that's there now in here because it's absolutely destroyed. It's covered in sea salt. So um, that just got sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is gonna set everything up and I'll get back to you then, all right? So two seconds. This is, this is impossible. Uh, shooting in very heavy sea spray conditions. And oh Jesus, whoa! <laughs> shooting in heavy, very heavy sea spray conditions. And yeah, I'm getting out of here. The sea spray is absolutely nuts. That was a 30 second exposure. Absolutely wasting my time trying to fire off a 30 second exposure in these conditions. If I got a shot out of that, um, I will be absolutely shocked. Today again was a completely different day. Oh my God, I just see another photograph. Wait there, no, a second. Look at this. Where did this come from? Right, see this rock. What we're waiting for is we're waiting for a good wave to come all the way up. It happened a second ago. Went all the way up here and around here. We got the other rocks then going back out along to as well again. I don't know what I'm going to shoot this at. I'm looking at it here now at the moment and I'm thinking that should probably be that should probably be around 16 mil or something. I'm going to clear some of the seaweed out of the way first because that's the that's the one thing you don't want. You don't want the stupid seaweed moving all over the place in your photograph. So uh, I'm just going to pull that back. So that's a top tip. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, hey, there we go. That's exactly now what I was looking for. Just shoot that dragging out and in by up there. Cool. That could be, that could be really awesome. So, um, as per usual, <laughs> it happens. It happens when I'm not ready for it. So the last photograph was a bit of a surprise. I had everything packed up. I was walking away, stopped recording, and I just said, do you know I'm going to shoot this shot? Now, a small bit of the rock is just breaking into the horizon. Minor error, but I was getting late. I was tired. I was after having a long day, so I didn't mind. The entire photo shoot today only took about 22 minutes from start to finish. So I'll just tell you what you can get done in such a, such a short space and time. So um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoy this really short vlog. And um, see you out there.